Next week, much of the nation will look up to witness a total solar eclipse. We won't see much of it here in North Texas, yet there have been many questions like, do we really need those special glasses? Bradley Blackburn found out. They don't look complicated. It looks completely dark. But what these kids are wearing is increasingly hard to find. Glasses to safely view the solar eclipse are selling out as the clock ticks down to Monday. It's my first time to see and I want to see how it is. They're gone at the Peru Museum, a thousand sold since yesterday. This box is ready at the Dallas Arboretum. 3,000 glasses first come first serve for their eclipse viewing party Monday, when the moon will cast a shadow on the earth blocking the sun, but you still can't look up with the naked eye. No, you can't. Dr. Zachary Robertson at UT Southwestern has had lots of questions from patients. He says looking directly at the sun can cause serious damage. You can have blurred vision almost immediately. The blur, the distortion, or just the, the blank spots around your central vision may be permanently lost. Eclipse glasses need to meet strict standards. You want to make sure that they are ISO certified. And come from a reputable manufacturer. They are so dark they completely black out anything but the sun. Your regular sunglasses from the car, not safe. Uh, your iPhone, not safe. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun. In North Texas on Monday, we'll see a partial eclipse. At exactly 109, the sun will look like a crescent. The next total eclipse here happens in 2024. It's just as amazing. Mom Lisa Parker wants her family to see the eclipse, but she isn't taking any chances. But my eye doctor is having a party, so I figure if there's a safe place to go, it would be his. Ready to watch history in the sky safely. In Dallas, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News. If you can't get your hands on a pair of those glasses, you can actually view it through a do-it-yourself eclipse box. We've posted directions for you on the front page of WFAA.com.